Congratulations on completing the exercise and on generating your first binomial random variable. As I explained at the end of the last video, the Python code that will have been generated from your blocks should look something like the code shown here. This code works because the probability mass function for a binomial random variable measures the probability of getting exactly k successes when you perform n Bernoulli trials. To generate a binomial random variable, we thus perform n Bernoulli trials and count how many of our trials are successful. In this video, we're going to move on from the binomial random variable to another similar variable known as the geometric random variable. As you have learned elsewhere, the probability mass function for the geometric random variable is the expression shown here on this slide. More pertinently, from our point of view, the probability px equals k here measures the probability that if you perform a series of Bernoulli trials, your first success comes on the kth of these trials. In other words, this probability, px equals k, is the probability that the first k minus 1 trials you perform are unsuccessful and that your kth trial is a success. The geometric random variable thus bears some similarity to the binomial random variable in that we should be able to generate these types of random variables by simply performing multiple Bernoulli trials. It should thus not be too much of a stretch to write a program to generate these types of random variables given the set of things that you already know how to do using Python. In order to get to grips with how to write the code to generate a geometric random variable, let's write a flowchart to show what our code will have to do. We would start by setting the variable x that will ultimately take on the value of our geometric random variable equal to 1. We set this quantity equal to 1 rather than 0 because we know that we will need to do at least one only trial as we cannot have a success if we do no trials. We would then do the first of our Bernoulli trials, which will result in either a success or a failure. If our first trial is successful, we are done. And we can simply print this quantity x. If, however, we fail, then we need to perform another Bernoulli trial. Furthermore, we will need to increase x by 1 because we will now have performed two Bernoulli trials. The flowchart for generating a geometric random variable is thus as shown at the top of this slide. What this chart shows is that to generate a geometric random variable, we have to continue performing but generating Bernoulli random variables and incrementing our variable x by 1 until we get a success. We have the ability to write most of the pieces of code that we need and that are indicated by this flowchart. The one piece of the puzzle that is missing is the part that is indicated by the blue diamond shown here. This piece of code must ensure that some of our code is repeated multiple times. We cannot use a for loop here, however, as we do not know how often we will have to repeat the commands in this loop before we start running our calculation. The solution is to use a type of loop called a while loop. A while loop, rather than running a set number of times like a for loop, runs until some condition is no longer satisfied. So in our case, our while loop is going to ensure that we continue to generate Bernoulli random variables until we get a success. The way that this will be used in our final code is shown here. The lines that are not in bold should be familiar enough to you by now, so I'm not going to discuss these any further. The part in bold, meanwhile, is the code that generates the geometric random variable. As you can see, the parameter of this random variable p is set equal to 0.2 in this case. The condition in the while loop, that a uniform random variable between 0 and 1 is lower than 0.8, thus corresponds to a failed Bernoulli trial. As you can also see, the value of the variable of interest, geometric, is initially set equal to 1 because we must perform at least one Bernoulli trial. 
If this Bernoulli trial is successful, the code within the while loop is not execute executed and the final value of the random variable is simply 1. The while loop ensures, however, that the value of this random variable is incremented by 1 every time we have an unsuccessful Bernoulli trial. The next exercise asks you to write the code to generate a geometric random variable using block group. Hopefully, you should now know enough information to complete this task, but let's just summarize everything that has been covered in this video to make doubly sure. In this video, I have reminded you about the properties of the geometric random variable. This type of discrete random variable has the probability mass function shown at the top of this slide. The kth element of this probability mass function therefore measures the probability that if you perform k independent Bernoulli trials, you will get k minus 1 failures followed by a success. The fact that we now know how to generate Bernoulli trials makes it easy to write a program to generate a geometric random variable. To do so, we simply use a while loop as shown in the code at the bottom of this slide. This should be all the information you need to complete the next task in this exercise. Good luck.